Okay, well, um, I've gone ahead and wound our rotor with our drive coils only. Um, I'll go through the windings later on, um, but first we want to put this into a uh, motor housing and um, see if it actually runs. And you're going to see a very big difference here between the um, amount of wire on this one and the amount of wire on a standard one. So, um, oh, very large difference indeed. I have wound this different to the way they've wound them. Um, the way these motors are wound, they sort of start off doing their first wrap on one side, turn it over 180 degrees and then do another wrap as you can see there. So this is the last one on this side and the last one on that side. Um, whereas I just um, started wrapping and kept on going around and around and around and around, around until I got to the beginning. These guys wrap one coil this side and then wrap one coil this side and then so on and so on. So um, different style of wrapping but pretty much the same thing. Um, just a lot easier this way. We don't have to use two wires like they did on this one. This is just one continual um, wrap over each segment. So uh, you'll also see that um, every fifth um, block does not have a wrap on it in one direction. Um, which is this one right here and this one right here and I think there's three all up three all up? no four it's just because we've missed um, every second armature segment so um, we have very little wire on this thing we have plenty of room to wrap our um, secondary windings on there whereas this one's choco full of wire and I would expect this to have much more torque um, running on every segment and um, this well, I don't even know if it's going to work yet so we're going to put it all together go and have a look so uh, we'll be back shortly Okay, moment of truth. All back together. Um, I stripped down one of them compressors, used the bearings, brushes and the uh, housing. Um, the brushes are a bit noisy but they are getting quieter as they bed in. So, uh, amp meter hooked up between our battery and our motor. And of course just a clip lead on the other side. I've thrown the scope across. Can have a quick looky across that. If it runs. Um, and I also just stripped out a, um, another motor from another compressor that's running okay, unmodified. That's what the UN stands for, so I don't get the two mixed up because they're identical. And uh, we're going to stick that on the battery and see what uh, kind of current that one's drawing. So we'll be measuring current from standard one, current from our rewound one. Um, which at the moment only has the uh, drive coils wound on there. We do not have our output coils on there yet. Um, everything fits in the housing all right. I'll be able to use one of these brush housings on this end, um, which will, one of the other ones from the bigger motors, actually has the bigger bearing and that on the uh, brush side. Whereas the smaller motors here have the small bearing that won't fit over the other end of the shaft. Um, because as you can see, different size. But the big motors have the same size shaft each end, so this brush set up here will go straight onto this motor. Um, but I'm going to uh, see how I can go about being able to adjust the brush timing on this end. Um, this end not so critical, it's pretty much as it was factory. Okay, so um, 
Now we're going to see if this actually runs with that uh, small amount of wire on there. And um, see what happens as far as current draw finger torque. Okay, so uh, nothing there yet. surprising amount of torque seem we've only got half the windings on there um, we use a thinner wire with more turns um, we've gone 10 turns of course but um, even as it is it has a fair bit of torque which is uh, pretty good and ground down fingers all right so um, now what we're going to do is we'll disconnect all this and we'll put our modified motor there, bring our standard one in and we will bend them back there and we're going to try a standard motor we'll turn our scopey back on, we might as well chuck that on while we're at it have a look across the standard little cheapo Chinese motor Okay, so now we're going to have a look see at our current draw here from a standard motor. Hook it up. No idea. Tell you what, for the current that this thing's drawing, that doesn't have, if any, much more torque than our modified motor. That's um, only wound every second segment. So um, that is quite surprising, really. I'm not only using the finger, but um, I could certainly burn my fingers on that one as much as I could on this one and this one was drawing near twice the current under load so um, we may have made that one more efficient right from the word go but um, of course we can't tell just by squeezing a sharp camera we'd need a proper load which we're actually going to set up for this thing um, in the way of the generator and uh, then we'll do a comparison test between the two at the end of all this. Right, time to strip that all apart and put our um, generator windings on there. So, um, we're going to make that another video. So, as we keep them nice and short, and don't take any hours to upload. So far, so good. Very surprised at the amount of torque that has and um, the difference in current draw between this one and that one. Alright guys, um, I'll get winding and we'll see you next video.